DMK's General Council meeting for the first time since poll carnage. Tensions within the family simmer. Congress party restructuring succession on the agenda. Questioning of the final four accused in the Sankara Ramanam murder case is completed today. DMK seeks Tamil Nadu governor's support to stop arrests of party members over land grabbing charges won on an indefinite strike. Malayalam movie stars are on the income tax radar. Offices and residences of Mohan Lal and Mamuti raided by IT officials. Snap all economic ties with Lanka and press for a probe demands MDMK to hold demonstrations in Delhi on August 12th. What SOPs were offered to investors in the state under DMK rule? CPIM demands answers. Local parks grabbed, misused and sold alleged residents of Sundaram Nagar filed writ petition in the High Court. Unfortunately, in our case, uh, there was no hearing, just in one line judgment, we have been denied the justice. National honour for the tennis ace from Chennai, Somdev Dev Varma to get the prestigious Arjuna Award in tennis. A very good evening. You're watching News Tonight with me, Ashmit. Time now to take a look at stories coming in from across the nation. An NDTV exclusive on the controversy over the Army Chief's date of birth, the Defence Ministry's order could run into legal complications. Karnataka Governor H.R. Bhardwaj says he will take action on the Loka Yukta report on the mining scam which names the Chief Minister. After three hours of questioning by the Delhi police in the cash for vote scam, Amar Singh may be called in for a second round of questioning. At Lords, it's not India's win, but Sachin's 100th-100 that got the punters excited. 200 crores on Sachin reaching the historic landmark. And Ajay Devgan's The Singham brings back the angry young man to the theatres today. Well, first up at this hour, it's time for introspection by the party carders of the Dravidian heavyweight, the DMK. Now, the General Council of the party meets for the first time in Coimbatore since the humiliating defeat in the recent elections. Now the party meets at a time when there is growing consensus within the party that politics within the family was a factor behind the poll defeat. Meanwhile, issues such as Kanimuri's role and the organizational restructuring has seen sparks fly in between the DMK patriarch Karnadi, heir apparent Stalin and strongman Alagiri. Meanwhile, succession wars continue to haunt the party as Stalin eyes a stronger footing by changing the district secretaries while Alagiri expressed faith in Karnadi. Now, another issue expected to feature in the talks would be ties with the Congress post Kanimuri's arrest. Meanwhile, the arrests of party workers on land grabbing charges within Tamil Nadu will be also looked upon. Now, another development uh, coming in from the Kanchipuram Sia case. Questioning of all the accused in the Sankara Raman murder case has been completed. Now, the questioning of the final four of the 24 accused was conducted today. Now, Principal District and Session Judge T. Rama oversaw the questioning. The final four accused claimed that false charges were being slapped on them. Now, the date of hearing arguments uh, will be decided on July 25th. Just to remind our viewers, Sankara Raman, manager of Valdaraja Perumal Temple in Kanchipuram, was allegedly murdered in the premises of the temple on September 3rd of 2004. Now, the two seers were charged under Indian Penal Code for criminal conspiracy and murder. In the course of the trial, 189 witnesses were examined and 81 turned hostile. Snap ties with Sri Lanka. That was the message that rung out loud and clear and as the MDMK chief Vaiko announced a demonstration outside the parliament in the capital on August 12th. Now, stressing on the Lankan Tamil issue, Vaiko demanded snapping of all trade and economic ties with the island nation. He also advocated for increased support by the Indian government for an international probe to investigate the killing of Tamils. Now, the MDMK chief also sought to build more pressure on Colombo by demanding limited support in multilateral forums. Now, Vaiko will also be conducting a hunger fast on August 17th to urge the state government to uphold its rights in the Mullai Periyar Dam issue. Now, Vaiko took on the opportunity to slam Kerala government for proposing to build a new dam. Well, DMK today came out blazing, in fact, slamming the arrests of various party workers in land grabbing cases. Now, DMK termed the arrests as totally unwarranted and uncalled for. Now, the DMK raised its pitch and sought the intervention of Tamil Nadu Governor S.S. Parnala to stop the police action. Now, the party's advocate wing handed over a memorandum to the Tamil Nadu Governor seeking his support. Now, DMK-backed advocates claimed that Agri Krishnamurti, a minister in Jaya's cabinet, is also accused in the land-grabbing case. Now, they allege that he has been allowed a free hand despite what they claimed was a documentary evidence. Now, the DMK memorandum also warns of indefinite protests if the arrests continued. 
Now, the CPIM today demanded that the Tamil Nadu government present a white paper giving details of all the SOPs given to the investors by the previous DMK government. Now, the party also demanded answers on the losses incurred and the employment generated through these investments in the past five years. Now, the CPIM argued that the government should present a white paper on the various uh, MOUs that were signed with various corporates. They demanded presentation of facts and debate in the assembly. Now, wide open spaces, everyone wants them, a place where people can walk and children can play. Now, the old-time residents of Sundaram Nagar near Tambaram are no different. But now, they are crying out that the area's allocated open space land has been grabbed. Pratiksha Ram Kumar has this report. Sundaram Nagar is far from the rush of the city. But even here, these children have no place to play, even though 50 years ago, a whopping 36 grounds were earmarked as open spaces exclusively for colonies use. After naturally land grabbers took one after another, uh, we could not have any effective control of that. Well, and then one child came and another came. Uh, today the position is our children, grandchildren are playing in the streets, risking their lives. Residents say they moved in here after proper approval in 1961. But today, public spaces including children's playgrounds has transformed into a private marriage mall. What's more, portions of the space has been sold off as residential plots as well. In that approval, they have given 36 grounds of open space for the entire area of 69.61 acres. Now we find only six grounds is available. That too is not in public utility. It is just lying as a barren ground without any use. Our association members feel that we should have some open space. It is not necessary. We want only that area. The government is able to get back whatever is available for public utility. We are happy. The Residents' Welfare Association alleges that the Tambra municipality had de-recognized 30 grounds of open space and sold it to one resident. The association has approached the High Court and the Supreme Court to reinstate the open space, but to no avail. So based on that, it was clearly marked one, two, three places as open place for public utility. Then only they approved this layout. So under no circumstances, according to the law, that can be changed. That exists even now. Unfortunately, in our case, uh, there was no hearing. Just in one line judgment, we have been denied the justice. Tamra municipality officials say that they follow only the DTP approvals made after the passing of the Town and Country Planning Act in 1971. But the older Sundaram Nagar DTP plan layout was made in 1961 and by 1969, 30 grounds of proposed open public space was already converted to residential areas. The association has now filed another writ petition in the High Court and an RTI as well on what grounds the de-recognition of the open space took place. DTCP and municipality officials refused to comment on the issue, saying that the matter is now sub judice. The resident's last hope is now the Chief Minister's special cell to address land grabbing cases. They have now requested a special appointment with Ms. Jalalita, hoping that her new initiative will return the lungs of their colony. In Chennai, Pratiksha Ram Kumar, Fendi TV Hindu. Now respect your parents like God's words coming in from a renowned member of the Don Bosco alumni. We'll tell you more about it on the other side.